Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to do basic animation in Final Cut Pro. So I'm starting off here with a blank project at the bottom, some sample clips here at the top. Let's drag the first clip here into the project. And then I'm going to select a second clip. I'm going to drag that in and put it above the first one starting at the very beginning right there. So this clip of the yellow leaves plays on top of the clip with the stream. You don't even see the one with the stream. So now what I want to do is I want to animate this clip here to basically start off showing full screen and then shrink and then move into a corner revealing the video behind it. So the way to add animation is to first click on the upper left hand corner of the clip there in the project and choose Show Video Animation. Then this brings up all the different things that you can animate. The one we're interested in is the transformations right here. We're going to switch from All to Just Scaling and we're going to scale this right here. We're going to do it, let's go to 4 seconds into the video right there. You can see my time is set to 4 seconds. I'm going to add a keyframe which is the start of an animated sequence. Uh, I can do that by either uh, option clicking right there. But I could also go to Modify and Add Keyframe which you see uh, Option K will get me the same thing. So I'm going to use Option K and you can see it inserted a keyframe right there. Now I'm going to move forward one whole second right there to the fifth second in and I'm going to then add another keyframe. Option K. So what's going to happen is the scaling will change between this point and that point. Now up here at the top of the screen I can select here uh, the ability to scale and move, transform the clip. Uh, I can see I can move back and forth between the keyframes. You can see how it jumps between these two here. On the second keyframe I want to shrink this so that it's the end of the scaling animation. So there are many different ways to grab these points here and hold different modifier keys. To shrink it uniformly I'm going to hold Command and Shift and drag the point here which will allow me to shrink it. I'm going to do it to exactly 25% the scale appeared in the upper left hand corner there. So now if I scrub over this part of the video I can see it goes from just being full screen to then shrinking during this animated part. When it gets to 25% then it stays there for the remainder. So the next thing I want to do is I want to change its position. So I'm going to go from Transform Scale to Transform Position. I'm going to return to this keyframe exactly right here at the end of the uh, scale. I can use these to jump right to it. And I'm going to add a, another keyframe here, Option K. And now I've added a positional keyframe. So you can see the dark one here, that's the scale keyframe. And there's another one there. But I'm not looking at scale, I'm looking at position. So I see now a positional keyframe. I'm going to move forward another whole second. And I'm going to Option K to add another keyframe. And now I'm going to move this up to the upper left. And you can use those numbers there to get it precise. I'm just going to do it in general right there. And now I can see what happens. It starts this sequence here where it shrinks and then this sequence here where it moves. Now I want to go down here and I want to hide the animation there so it doesn't get in the way. So I just see these two clips. It's still there. It still animates but I don't have to see the extra there. I'm going to add another clip here. Uh, let's add this one and I want this one to be between the two of them and right to the left where it starts. So now actually I'm revealing this one with the ducks because you can't see the one underneath that. And I'm going to do a similar animation here with the ducks but instead of doing it at from 4 to 5 seconds and then 5 to 6 I'm going to do it a little further along. So for the ducks I'm going to reveal the animation right there. I'm going to then transform scale. I'm going to go in to let's say 7 seconds. Option K. Oh, I have to select that area there. Option K. Go to 8 seconds. Option K. And then I'm going to scale it to 25% as before. Then 
then I'm going to switch to position, option gate added, keyframe for position, go one more second ahead, and option K again, and then I'm going to move this to the upper right here, and now as I scrub along the timeline here, I can see that first thing that happens is the yellow branches is on top, then that shrinks, moves to the upper left, and the ducks are underneath it. Then the ducks shrink, revealing the stream below. That moves to the upper right, and I get my desired effect. So it's just one example of how to use keyframe animation in Final Cut Pro. You can change all sorts of other things. You can rotate, you can trim, you can distort video, you can even change uh, color attributes and the opacity of the video. So there's lots of things that you can do between keyframes. You can add as many keyframes as you want to make your animation as complex as you want. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.